When looking at students' emotional wellness, teachers and other educators are really frontline people who see early signs that something might be amiss. Whether that's a concern for substance use, a child that comes in smelling like marijuana or looking otherwise intoxicated, the first thing we often see with substance use is that change in behavior, whether it's not turning in assignments, whether it's not being engaged in the classroom, whether it's changes in, in friend groups, in peer relationships. Keeping an eye out for all of those types of things can be indicators that a student is having some form of a problem and, and that may be with something like marijuana or a substance of misuse. When thinking about how marijuana affects emotional wellness, we know that children who use marijuana um, are more likely to be irritable, prone to anger, have difficulty with focus, concentration, and kind of making sense of the world around them in a way that is less so than in adults. So when we look at adolescents or, or young adults that are using marijuana, we want to be really mindful that their emotional wellness may actually be deteriorating because of that marijuana use. When somebody is in withdrawal from marijuana, which might be the state that an educator is going to see that individual in because they're actually withdrawing from it because they can't use until after school, you might see some hyper reactivity, so some increased kind of responsiveness and almost vigilance that comes with a withdrawal syndrome. So if when interacting with students, you notice any signs of potential substance use or marijuana use in particular, taking that student aside if you have a good relationship with them and ask open-ended questions. Ask what's going on. Let them know that you are concerned about them and that you've, you thought you might have smelled marijuana use on them and you want to make sure that they're okay. I think sometimes we worry that if we put it out there and if we name it and if we say it, we might scare that student away. But the reality is that they need to know that we care about them, that we're trustworthy, and that we are worried about them and want what's best for them. Adolescents who delay start of use and have more time for that brain to develop without marijuana impacting it are more likely to not have problems with marijuana, are more likely to hit those markers like graduating from high school, moving on to university, and, and having success in life. So the more we can kind of denormalize marijuana use in our adolescents and delay the onset of first use, the safer our community and our children will be.